Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you how to install a Python Instagram bot or Instapy on Windows 10. I'm doing this all on a virtual machine, so this process should be very similar to your guys' process if you have not downloaded Python or if you're very unfamiliar with doing the installs and the package installs. So just a little overview, we're going to be downloading Python, we're going to be downloading Git. Um, Git is not actually required to get Instapy to work, but the reason why I'm wanting you guys to download Git is because the Instapy repository on GitHub, there are a ton of contributors on there, plus Instapy, or, uh, Instagram changes the layout of their web page uh, every so often, and Instapy will not work unless you update Instapy. And the way that Instapy works is it clicks on elements of a web page. If you can see right over here, we can go all the way down here and we're clicking on these different elements of this web page. And if you look over here, you can see that this is what Instagram looked like back in 2012. So it's actually came quite a bit of ways to get it to look like this. But that might sound a little bit confusing. Don't worry about it. I'm going to show you how to get everything properly installed. So after you download Git, we're going to install Selenium. Um, I don't think Selenium is actually required to be downloaded if we're doing a setup of Instapy. I think setup of Instapy actually sets up everything for you, but the reason why I'm going to show you how to do an install of Selenium is so you guys can get familiar with how to install packages for Python. After that, we're going to get clone Instapy, then we're going to install Instapy, and then we're going to download Chrome Driver. After we get all of this done, we should be able to run scripts and get our Instagram bot working. So uh, let's go get to it. So I'm actually going to close out of this and close out of this. And that was dumb of me. Let me reopen Google Chrome. And we're going to go to python.org. Alright, so once you get here, you want to click on downloads, and we're going to click on download for Windows, Python 3.7.1. And as you can see, it started the download. Also, quick note, you might be watching this later down the road, so there might be newer versions of Python. Just make sure you're downloading the newest version of everything. So when you're watching, this might be Python 3.8 or 3.9 or whatever. But after the download, click on it. And make sure you click this, add Python 3.7 to path. And we're going to click on install now. Yes. All right, setup was successful. Now we can close this window. And I'm actually going to see if it's up here. Nope, it's not. So I actually want to make this on a desktop icon just to make things a little bit easier. So let me go over here. Python. Now I'm going to click on this. I'm going to do right click. And I am going to go to open file location. And I'm going to click on, click on this. Idle. And I am going to click on send to desktop. Okay, so now let's install git or download git. All right, here we go. So now we're on the git website and we are going to download for Windows. All right, once that's done, click on it. All 
click yes. Next, next, icons, get bash, next, 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 or install. And once it's done, click finish. So now we have Python installed, we have Git installed. Now we want to install Selenium. So what we're going to do is we are going to click on this right here. And we're going to open file location. And we're going to click on scripts. And we're going to copy this directory. I just left clicked on this and now I'm going to right click and click copy. Now I'm going to go down over here and click on the command prompt. The command window. Yep, command prompt. Click on that. And this little black window comes up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in a CD and then paste this directory by just right clicking. Click enter. Now I'm going to do or type pip install selenium and click enter. This right here is how you download packages for Python. For example, you might need to download uh, requests or some other packages that do not already come installed with Python. So, okay, yeah, I'm using an older version of pip, so don't worry about that. So, we have downloaded Python, we've downloaded Git, we have installed Selenium, now we're going to git clone instapy. So this is where you need to pay attention, right here. So right over here, I am going to right click, and I'm going to do new, and I'm going to click folder, and I actually want to name this folder Instagram. But actually it doesn't really matter because we're actually going to be removing this folder. Now what you want to do is you want to right click on it, click on git bash here, and a new little window pops up. I'm going to get rid of the uh, windows command prompt and open up the git command prompt. See if I can make this a bit wider. Alright, so now I'm going to type in git init. All right, perfect. So now that I did that, what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna go over to GitHub. Let's see if I can move this, this bar at the bottom, or the bar at the top is causing problems. And I'm gonna go to Instapy. It's on GitHub. Perfect. So now that I'm on here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this, clone or download, and I'm going to copy copy this link, and I'm just going to press that button to copy it. I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to do, or type git clone, and I'm going to paste that link right there. Paste. Click enter. Perfect. I'm actually going to close out of this now. So now, whenever you click on this folder, you can see that the Instapy folder is now on there. You can see all these different files. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to take this file and I'm going to move it outside of here. I'm going to close this. I'm actually going to delete this just to get rid of it. Now I've got Instapy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this. I'm going to right click git bash here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in py setup.py install. py 
setup.py install. And now this is actually installing, uh, and now this is actually installing Instapy. Then that's fine, so I'm going to do git pull, and we should be up to date then. Yep, already up to date. Okay, so that's fine. Perfect. Alright, so once that is done, the next thing we need to do is we need to download Chrome driver, and we need to put that inside of the assets folder. This is the assets folder. So let's go ahead and download Chrome driver. So we're going to go up here and we're going to type in Chrome. On the latest release. Here we go. Now we're going to click on Chrome driver Win32 zip. And now it should download. Now, once it's done downloading, we're going to click on it. And we're going to extract. And I am actually going to want to extract it into this assets folder. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on assets, click up here, copy this directory, or copy, and where did my thing go? Where did it go? Here we go. There's the window. Select the destination and extract the file. Now I'm going to paste that directory that I just copied from over here, the Instapy assets folder. And I'm going to click extract. Doesn't matter which way you or how you extract that folder. Just make sure that the extracted Chrome driver is inside the assets folder inside of Instapy. So click on assets and Chrome drivers right there. So let me get rid of all these windows. So once we have done all this, we should be able to run our Instagram Python bot. So let's go over to our Instapy folder and let's scroll all the way down to quick start. Not Docker quick start, quick start. Go right click, edit with idle, and this little script pops up. Let me make this full screen. So right up here, this is where you put in your login credentials. So I'm actually gonna use my one of my trash accounts and I'll change the password after the uh, after this video. So put your credentials in here. Alright, so looking at this code, what it's going to go do is it is going to go like 10 pictures uh, under the Nat Geo hashtag, and it's not going to include friend one. Well, that's actually not going to do anything because those aren't actual usernames. And it's going to not like anything with the description of pizza and hashtag store. So let's go ahead and run this. We're going to click function F5. Well, F5 for you, but function F5 for me. I'm actually going to move this over to the right so we can see what's happening. And once you run it, this little window is going to pop up. And here, as you can see, it is now liking posts from the NatGeo hashtag. 
So while this is running, I'm going to go talk about some other different stuff. If you look inside the Instapy folder, you can look at the README. I'm actually going to open this with... Oh, no. Let's see if I can just open it. So this right here is the README file. You can actually see all the different stuff that the Instapy bot can do. So if you go, let's say we want to comment on stuff, we can actually go all the way down here and figure out where to find the comment stuff is. So comment by location, you do session, comment by location. So make sure you read the documentation to get the bot working the way that you want it. I just did a video on how to get everything working and now it's up to you to make the bot do what you tell it to do. Alright guys, so the bot has now completed its task. It has liked seven, in seven images as opposed to ten because, uh, let's see, three were not valid users based on these credentials, but I'm not going to get too into detail about what all this means and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's how to get the Instagram bot up and running. Like I said, go look at the readme file that will show you all the stuff that this bot can do and how you can make it work for you so all right guys thank you very much for watching if you have any questions regarding this uh, installation or need help please comment them below and i'll help you as quickly as possible um, please like and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you guys next week thank you guys very much and uh, have a good day